ancient time, the evil mage Garm, using the power of the runestones, released a great evil upon the land. This demon, Storm, broke free of Garm's control, crushing him and imprisoning his soul in the underworld. Storm then released his minions upon the lands and scattered the runestones across the eight realms so that they might never again be assembled and used against him. No one has dared try until now. The story of this game is Garm, he stole all the runestones, he summoned this demon and the demon broke out of Garm's control and killed him and ended up spreading his evil across the land. And it's your job as a hero that's been summoned to save all the eight realms. So, so it's really cool. It's like D&D &D back before I even knew what D&D &D was. I was just a little youngin. <laughs> um, but you have to... Uh, obtain some shards in order to get into the desecrated temple or whatever and he has sealed the entrance to each realm with a magical shield my homeboy yellow wizard man um, he has uh, hooked us up with these first 15 congratulations you now have enough crystals to enter the forsaken province uh, the controller I picked might have not been the, the best one. So yeah, this uh, I'm playing it on my uh, PlayStation 2. Those are the only actually have one of these because for some reason the price of this game has jumped up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Martin, that, that, that was sad, so I guess it could be worse. Uh, I'd actually have to switch controllers. Some barrels contain items. Collect gold to buy power-ups. So, um, the crystals that you need to collect to get to the next realm are these red ones. So we need to get a hundred of them. Alright, your boy Alfie's gonna, uh, you know, do something genuine for once on, on his channel and actually play a game that he loves a lot. Okay, that was, I was being a little bit, uh, gutsy right there. So, so you get, you get these magic potions that you can use, and they're pretty much like a one hit, uh, to these like minions and such um, I think I'm actually gonna have to uh, swap controllers because the X button on this one's all all jacked up all right so in this level there's actually a rune stone The X button works much better, but uh, there's gonna be a problem with it like leaning to the right. It's like a Nintendo Switch controller doing a drift, except it took like you know 21 years for this one to actually you know have a defect, like the Switch controllers, which you use for three months and it's broken. Have a time. <laughs> Oh jeez, frick. But yeah, this is what the the game looks like. Destroy generators to stop enemies. Yeah, it was quality back in the day for sure. You know, uh this was like a remaster of a of a uh of an arcade game, which I think it was uh, Gauntlet Legends or just Gauntlet, and it was so cool at the time because you know you're getting arcade game quality 
at home, which was which was like really super cool at the time. Um, I'm gonna have to see if I can uh, find a way to. No, I don't want to use my turbo now. Uh, but you can get like power ups to, to do like some cool ass attacks. Now this dude, he's one of the coolest looking uh, generals, or not generals, he's like a, a captain. But he looks so cool, it looks like Grim Reaper and everything. But this is what the runestones look like, they'll have different patterns and colors. You know, it, it, was, it was really cool playing it at, at, the, at the time, you know. Really, that's hard to believe anybody could destroy a Nokia. <laughs> Those things are, are supposed to be uh, stronger than titanium. Yeah, you can just find some some random random food on the floor that you can just munch on. Uh, no! Oh God! Yikes! Um, but what was really cool is that, unlike a lot of the games in, in the PlayStation 2 library, um, this one was actually could support up to four player multiplayer, which would require like... Alright, well... Alright, see you Martin. Thank you for stopping by. Secret right here, everybody. Uh, more keys, in case you didn't know. Which you can get the uh, Phoenix Familiar, which is really nice because it's pretty much uh, two attacks at once, and I believe it does way more damage than you normally. I'm gonna just step on these ones because I feel like it's a waste. We just lost our wings. I believe the wings allow you not to take damage whenever you step on a uh, trap. Uh, oh, hey, a purple crystal. Is that everything over here? I think it is. You know, it was such a uh, simple gameplay, but it, it really got the job done, in my opinion. That's why I kind of wish uh, this game would get like a remaster, because you know their uh, newer games like. Seven Sorrows and then like the Gauntlet game that came out in like 2015 were uh, kind of disappointing. And I don't feel like it led it a. Uh... Oh, my health is cool. I didn't feel like it uh, lived up to uh, previous installments. Cool thing about this boat is it can shoot across the land, and you know you can shoot through walls. So if you see uh, a bunch of enemies all clustered up, you can uh, really wreck them. Uh, but yeah, the character is the uh, jester, and he juggles. Uh, bombs like 
you know, some kind of uh, magic trick. Oh yeah, I think there's something hidden back here. Oh, okay. Never mind. I am a dummy. Um. Secret plus a hidden switch. And need those uh, golden icons in order to uh, unlock uh, certain wings of the tower that we're in. It, it's the, uh, the main area I'll have to show you guys at some point. Thing, uh, suicide bomber, dude. And uh, I wonder if it's too late to, to up the difficulty if it is a thing. Because I, I read that it can go up to hard mode. But uh, I could be wrong. Now you could say that this game is very uh, linear and kind of like on the tracks or whatever, but that's what a lot of games then were. So I, I still think it's it's good for its time. And I think it lives up to the hype if you were to play it now. The path ahead is laden with traps for the greed. And I believe it's talking about those uh, firewall traps, which uh, if you try to just run through and not pace yourself, you'll end up getting attacked like I did. But uh, we got a good amount of health right now, so I'm not too worried. I want to eat the green apples so bad, they're, they're so good in real life, but uh, they are poisonous in this game. Now, uh, that uh, chest right there is actually bomb, so if you were to open it, you'd waste a key, and you would potentially blow up yourself, you know? That's not good. So also, if you're not careful, you can end up shooting the magic potions that are on the ground. And you don't want that, because then the wizard dude will end up getting all mad at you and stuff. And that's just not nice. Do not pass through the gate until you find two switches. Uh, yeah, I already found both switches. Oh, shit. Um, so, if you are enjoying this video, um, you should leave a like, maybe subscribe or something. Ooh. Ah, dang, I thought I could go. How do you block again? Also, in case anybody didn't know, you have two different kinds of attacks. You have the fast one, which is just spamming the X button. If you want to do more damage, you can push a uh, square. Death awaits those who try to pass. Prepare yourself. Which, uh, these, like, level 1 dudes, they aren't too, uh, dangerous, so you can usually just spam attack. So, this is Death right here. I'm gonna activate her. 
Um, but you can just easily kill him by pushing the uh, you by using the uh, potion. And the red one, they uh, they steal um, health. Oops. Oops. <laughs> I pushed the wrong button, man. <laughs> Um, but there's also a black uh, death or whatever that steals XP away from you, so you can actually lose levels, which is pretty neat. So as you can see, we leveled up to 4, which increased a lot of our stats. We went from having 500 max health to 800. And you can go through here and buy different things. You can see on the bottom left next to our health, that's how much money we have. Now generally they will give you all the, uh, all the keys you need, so usually you can just buy health. Um, but at the, uh, at the bottom once you uh, made like a thousand gold, you can spend it on upgrading one of your stats.